for watching jabscotech.com. I'm Jeff Lander. And I'm Mike Irving. And today we're going to talk about the three wires on our computerized and roommate bilge pumps. Now these pumps come with 28 inches of silicone blocked wire. That's pretty important for marine applications because if you ever nick it, that means the, wire's not going to tra the water's not going to travel down through the wire. Now these pumps have three wires. Each of them have an independent function. Jeff? Brown wire is our automatic lead. Brown and white manual override lead, and the black is our negative lead. Now we recommend using a three-way switch to hook these wires up with. What that will do is will give you optimal functionality to be able to check the bilge pump before we're heading out on your voyage. Now that's pretty important. In some cases, if, this, if these automatic pumps are installed on rowboats or dinghies, um, you don't have the option of using the manual override. We put a video together to go ahead and show you how to seal off the edge of that wire with some heat shrink tubing and some silicone caulking. Now, if you do go without a panel switch, it's really important to go ahead and fuse this brown wire. So it's going to go from the brown wire into a fuse into the battery. And that fuse is going to be dictated by the number that's on the pump. Um, I think that pretty much what, what else do we have? Oh, we've got oh, one more. Uh, one more. Let's not forget this one, Mike, because this is a big one. When people are unsure what to do with that brown and white wire, some cases they'll hook it up together with the brown. I'm telling you right now, don't do that because you'll be unhappy because what that will do is that will cause the pump to stay on continuously. If you don't want to use the brown and white wire, watch our other video, seal it off, and throw it off to the side. That wraps up this episode at JabscoTech.com. I'm Mike Irving. And I'm Jeff Lander. We're going to have more videos coming at you real soon.